everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we continue diving into Attack on Titan as we dive into episode 8. And we're continuing our journey through the struggle of trust as we go, as I should say, as we go into part 4 now. So, um, in the last episode we saw Mikasa kind of take on a, more of a leadership role and say, you know, hey, we're going to fight these titans and we're going to kill them because it's the last thing we do. And if we die trying, then we just, that's how it goes, you know. And um, she finally figures out that Aiden has died. Although I think he's coming back still, I don't know. Um, and she almost uses that as fuel to keep fighting. Um, so, and um, we found out also there's a titan that kills titans. Which is very interesting, so I'm hoping we're going to learn more about that in this episode. So, um, who's, no, who's to say what we're going to find out in this episode? Um, I'm just excited to keep going through this journey because this has been a roller coaster ride of an, uh, of an anime, but it's been really exciting. Lots of twists and turns that you just don't expect coming out of nowhere. So, let's see what this one's going to be all about. So, uh, let's go ahead and do it, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Every time I try to press spacebar, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I could hear his heartbeat. Whose heartbeat? よし。起動装置はまだいけるぞ。刃も全部出した。ただ。ね、スリーマフレイブファー。これだけはここに置いていってくれ。やっぱり生きたまま食われることだけは避けたいんだ。お。そ、そんな。アルミ。ここに置い
Oh no! Nice! Jeez, dude. Is that a female titan? It looks like a female titan. It's honestly, it kind of looks like a a uh, dad and a mom titan. Interesting. Okay, so there are female titans. Because I think that I remember back in a couple episodes back, it, it was, um, it might have been like episode five, six or something like that. They were talking about how, from their knowledge, when we've learned from the Titans, there's no female um, Titans. Also, that was just like, I might have misunderstood what they were trying to say there. But, I mean, this looks to me like, that looks like a female Titan to me. I mean, it looks like she's kind of got long, like, it looks like the Titan has a little bit longer eyelashes, a little bit more uh, female-looking features, if you will. Like, and honestly, it's interesting, they look almost like human. Which is crazy because it looks like they have normal teeth, whereas some of the other ones have like the weird like teeth on the, like, the outside and shit. You know, interesting. Oh, okay. All right, good to know. Yeah, like I said, we keep learning more and more things about the Titans, which is really cool. Cause I'm really, really been intrigued about these guys, even though I hate them because they're killing people. I'm very intrigued by the Titans though, so I like learning more about them. I will say that. <laughs> Oh, there's the good Titan, I think. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> there she is. Mikasa! Mokarada! Yatazo! Kirigiritsita! お前、生きてんじゃねえか。やったぞ、アルミ。お前の作戦は成功だ。みんな、あの巨人は巨人を殺しまくる気候師だ。しかも 
俺たちには興味を示さないあいつをうまいこと利用できれば俺たちはここから脱出できる巨人を利用する巨人に助けてもらうだと<笑>そんな夢みたいな話夢じゃない貴公主でも何でも構わないここであの巨人により長く暴れてもらう<笑>それが現実的に私たちが生き残るための最善策ナイス。<笑>大丈夫だあの巨人は波の巨人より強い、oh、my God. あいつが派手に暴れているうちはこの建物は潰されないだろうお前らあの巨人についてどこまで知ってるんだ助かってからでいいだろうそんなことそうだなまずは助かってからだ憲兵団管轄の下だ誇りをかぶってやがるが弾は本当に三段でいいのかそもそもこの鉄砲は巨人相手に役に立つのかないよりはずっとマシだと思う補給室を占拠している3、4メートル級が7体のままならこの程度の火力でも同時に視覚を奪うことは不可能じゃないまずリフトを使って中央の天井から大勢の人間を投下そして7体の巨人それぞれの顔に向けて同時に発砲視覚を奪うそして次の瞬間に全てが決まる天井に隠れていた7人が発砲のタイミングに合わせて巨人の急所に切りかかるつまりこの作戦では1回のみの攻撃に全てを全員の命をかけることになる7人が7体の巨人を一撃で同時に仕留めるための作戦なんだ This is cool I like seeing army and coming in really with the just very clever strategies here Like, he's like come up with some great, great strategies here to be able to take these on. Like, and I love like, how it like, almost seems like every new episode we kind of see somebody almost kind of, I, I should say, it almost seems like Aiden is like living vicariously through somebody else in terms of like the leadership that they provide. You know, it's like in the last episode we saw him living vicariously through Mikasa being like in the leader like, position. Now we see Armin. Coming in being more of like a leader and like helping with strategies on how to like get them to the HQ and be able to refuel their gas and whatnot and get to the safety of getting over this wall into,、um, I believe it's a、uh, wall Suna, I think is the last one, right? Or something like that. And so it's cool that it's like, it's almost like Aaron's not really technically gone. He's just living vicariously through other people here, you know? It's really dope. I love that. Um, but I still think he's not dead. I have a feeling I don't think he's dead yet. But、um, yeah, I'm not going to keep dwelling on that. <laughs> but this is cool. I like this. I, Armin coming in strong with like, the great strategy is so dope. This is so cool. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the n e x Yeah, so I'd say probably Annie, Mikasa, are two of the best. And then Anna, who else, though? Good call, yeah. So, what? いつリフトの用意ができたぞ鉄砲もだすべて装填した自覚がないだけ、right. 後で話そう。Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that. 一体起動装置もなしで巨人を仕留めきれるかいけるさ。相手は3、4メートル級だ
的になる急所は狙いやすいああ大きさにかかわらず頭から下うなじにかけての縦1メートル横10センチもしくはこいつをやつらのケツにぶち込む弱点はこの2つのみ知らなかったそんな手があったのか私も今初めて知りましたないなないなお前の最後の言葉になるかもしれねえぞ<笑> what, what, that'd be a great, great final last words. We're gonna take these muskets and shove it up the Titan's ass. <laughs> that would be such great words to. That would be like the best last words before your death ever. <laughs> that would be good. I mean, not really. That would suck, but like, you know what I mean. So, so I thought that. I thought Aiden. I'm、uh, sorry. All I mean was saying to. Because he's saying go for their vitals, which is the back of their heads. But if they're attacking them from the front like that, I thought he was saying shoot them in the eyes so they would be like blind, can't see, and then people come in from the back and slap them in the back of the neck where they're like the, that's like the only place they can die at. But now they're talking about going for their vitals, like the neck area, like I just said. Interesting, okay. I, I thought I understood his plan, but maybe not. I mean, just, let's just see it in action. Let's just do that. <laughs> <笑>大丈夫数は増えてない作戦を続行する<笑>ファイアーノーファイアー落ち着け十分に引きつけるんだ Ready. Furina sent to us again. The story was not set up in the other. Kono itchy get Kimirunda. Mate. Oh, we're loading. Okay, we're good. Phew. Yo. Ready. Fire. Uta! <laughs> okay, they go for the eyes. Nice. Boom. One down. Yes. Uh oh. That one didn't die. Uh, so I do something. Oh, it fell over. Get it. Get it. There we go. That works. Oh. Nice. Nice. ならすぐに立つすまねえなどうもおいおい危なかったな兄<笑>おいおい怪我をしなくてよかったぜ本当に<笑>全体仕留めたぞ補給作業に移行してくれやった<笑><笑>よしこれで助かる巨人が入ってこないな、yeah. あの巨人が暴れてるおかげだ That was a great strategy. Kyojin,一服してしまった。みんなに合わせるかおが。後でたっぷり軽蔑してやる。とにかく出すんだ。俺が指揮役に向いてるとは思えねえ。もう、ああいうこと言うな。怒らずに聞いてほしいんだけど
and um, <clears throat> was like talking all this shit to Aaron about like becoming a uh, joining the cadets and everything or whatnot and not just going to the military police because he didn't want to die or am i thinking of somebody different because i think i think that's him but i can't quite tell i'm not sure though you guys have to let me know you guys have to let me know if that's the right guy or not if i'm thinking of somebody different because i swear that's him but maybe not <laughs> it's time to scram. <laughs> I love that. What a great translation. できれば。この絶望的な現状を打破する どう。どんな大砲よりも強力な武器になると思わない。お、味方だと。本気で言ってんのか。あ、いつも。とまそくった。気候者。Oh, it lost its arm. Oh, it lost both arms. Oh, it bit it though. Holy shit. What? Is that Aaron? There's no way.
これをエレンがやったってことかウェイアウジスメイキングアウトストロンプレディクションのラストワンアウトアプリアウトストロンアピニオンアウトアウトアウト Because in the last episode, I said maybe this Titan is actually Aven. And that's why it knows how to fight and everything, and blah, blah, blah. But I think I was right. What? Wait, so does that mean. <clears throat> So, if a human gets eaten by a Titan, does that mean that it can somehow take control of it? Because Aiden's arm and like, leg were bitten off, and now it's back. But see, they're all crying like he's dead, but he has a heartbeat. Like he's alive. And like Mikasa's crying like he's dead, though. Which, okay, that makes sense why the episode's title, I Can Hear His Heartbeat. <laughs>、um, so I'm very confused. So is she crying because she's happy he's alive? Or is she. Crying because she thinks he's dead? Because the Titan died? I have so many questions. So many questions. Okay. Okay, so let me take this video away. So, <clears throat> they're back on track, which is good, because they got more gas. So now they can use the ODM stuff again. And whatnot, which is good. And then, of course, this good Titan came along and it helped them, which turns out it must have actually been Aaron who was acting as the Titan. But now the Titan got killed and Aaron popped out of his neck. But he still has a heartbeat, so he could still technically be alive. But the way Mikasa's crying is like he's dead. Everybody around him is looking at him like, is he dead? And they're all wondering, was he the one that was actually acting as that Titan or not? So, yeah, there's a lot of questions going into this next episode, which I'm going to watch right after this one for sure, because I have to know what's going to happen next and see if he's actually alive. But、um, that's interesting. That's, that's interesting to see that, that there's a possibility. That humans that get eaten can take control of the Titan of, or, a, or of a Titan. Which is very interesting. Because you can see, like, the Titan that ate him was like an older Titan with a long beard and whatnot. But then this one that was fighting all the other ones had, like, almost like his type of hairstyle, but a little bit longer, some, like, pointy ears. And then, like, almost like I said, like, the best way I can describe it is it almost looks like he's like a, was like a wolf or something like that. I don't know, it's interesting. There's a lot of questions I'm hoping the next episode will answer for me because, like, that was absolutely wild. That's the most crazy episode I've seen so far. And I love, oh my gosh, not, most, like I mentioned, Armin coming in with some clever, just amazing strategy to help get them to that fuel. Oh my gosh. That was so cool to see him kind of take on a leadership role. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely curious to see what's gonna happen next episode. So I'm gonna shut up now so we can get on to the next one because I'm so I gotta figure it out. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this episode at least. And I、uh, look forward to、um, probably episode nine should be up on hopefully Sunday. So look forward to that and I will see you guys in that episode. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, <laughs> bye. <laughs>